Speaking of January 6th, uh, we do have this photo here of you up on a on some steps, maybe on a roof. Can you can you explain this to what's going on here? All right. So um, just some quick January 6th context. Uh, I went to January 6th uh, just off of like a gut uh, intuition. Um, it was a really potent day of American history without even knowing about all this because, you know, Trump was calling his last uh, rally before his presidency ended. Um, and the Capitol building was certifying the electoral college on the same day. So I'm like, Hey, there's two big things happening. I'm going to go. Um, it ended up, there was a whole ton of people leaving Trump's speech, which was actually at the Washington monument, which you can see in the photo and people were walking over to the Capitol and I walked over to the Capitol and just due to the nature of photography and being close to the action brings out the intimacy. I was right near the front of where uh, the agitators pushed past the police. So I was one of the first hundred people up on the building. And this is on the northwest side of the Capitol building. You're going to have to go look at a map yourself. But um, this was, I think, about an hour and a half up onto the up on the building. And... I just turned around and this is on, yeah, it's on some sort of uh, granite um, steps overlooking like the middle. So if you look at the bottom left corner where the left guy's bent knee is, that is exactly where Joe Biden gets in inaugurated two weeks later. So if you look at, at the Capitol building, you'll, you'll see it. And there's just this picture is one of my favorites from January 6th because it just it shows this like glamorous side of January 6th. You know, this photo doesn't contain any violence. There's no narrative you can ram into this picture. Nobody's being hurt. It's just people very triumphantly waving the American flag up on the building. Um, and, you know, because we live in a narrative warfare kind of world, uh, this picture just shows, you know, um, a peaceful and glamorous side to January 6th where the mainstream media uses their uh, influence to paint this day as a black mark, as a terrorist attack, worse, worse than 9-11, which is just so obtuse. And this picture just shows some power and and some glamour i'd like to say so it kind of flips I, i'm simply providing a flip side to their narrative of, of dark and rude and bad but this picture shows the flag flowing and flying with the huge crowd and um you can see that the police down in the corner with some smoke so there's a you know there's um the the americans and the police there's a little bit of push pull with you know who the the like and and what what's it in in stories uh it's called like the, the antagonist the protagonist thank you yes it's it's got a lot of push pull it's got triumph it's got flow motion uh power it's up high so you can see the big crowd it's it's got a lot going for it and that's why it's one of my favorite pictures Got some great scale too, as you said. You can see the Washington Monument way off in the distance, and you can, and then which is like dwarfed compared to the people holding the flag right up by the camera. But it gives you that sense of scale from yes. the Capitol building all the way to the monument, and you can see that massive crowd. And yeah, that's great. A lot going on in that photo. 